Well, you guys got another video here for you. Now, if you're receiving an error message just like this one, then your PC is having issues. And a lot of this is related to fast startup. When you shut down your PC, you will get an error code coming up on your system. Maybe your PC is not shutting down correctly and it's hanging. The reason for this is you have fast startup enabled. Now, with fast startup enabled, the kernel session will not be closed, but be put into some sort of hibernated state where all of the information is stored on your hard drive. And when you start up your PC, this gives you a faster start up and shutdown times. And this is why this feature exists today and was introduced in around about Windows 8.1. Now, what happens is all of the file data is stored in a hyper file uh, sys file and all the data is stored in there. And when you restart your PC, all of this information gets reinstated on the PC. And you can see here on Microsoft's website, it says fast startup causes hibernation and shutdowns to fail on Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 and also Windows 11 now. So you can see here on the information, it gives you a full uh, write up of what is actually happening to your system and how you can rectify it. The simple way to do it is just turn off fast startup. Now this feature has been enabled by default. So when you install Windows, it's normally enabled, but it can cause a lot of problems. And most people don't realize it's even this that's causing the problem. So you can see here, if you go into your command prompt and type in here, power CFG or one word, then space forward slash available uh, sleep states, it will tell you whether you've got it enabled or not. And the problem is with it, is that it does cause a few issues, especially with your drivers and also Windows updates and other things like that. It can cause an issue. So having this turned on is more problematic than it's worth. Today we have super fast drives like NVMe drives and also SSDs, and we don't really need to have this enabled because it's not going to impact the system that much. If you've got a really super fast drive, you're probably not going to see any sort of impact on your boot up times uh, other than a couple of seconds. But to be honest, if it's not causing you any problems and you want to leave it enabled, by all means, do so if you want to. But if you find it is causing you a few issues, then you can disable it like Microsoft recommends. So you can go into the control panel here, make sure you're in the category mode. And then what we're looking for here is hardware and sound. Click on this one. And then you'll see power options here. We're looking for change what the power button does and we can then click on this one here and it will open up another window which will show you define the power button and turn on password protection. You can see all of this area is grayed out. We need to change settings that are currently uh, in use so we can change these here and basically turn off fast startup which is saying recommended to leave it on for faster startups and faster shutdowns but if you're having issues then I would definitely remove this as your first port of call. So basically when you shut down your PC, this gets sent to your memory and then gets sent onto your hard drive and it's stored in a hyperfield.sys file. And again, once this is done, this can have corrupted files in there or drivers and you're gonna end up with a reboot loop. I also recommend putting on the balance recommended power status here just to uh, you know, save power. And also there's much better with um, Ryzen processors I find to have it running on balanced rather than ultra. And that's pretty much it. I find this uh, causes less problems with shutdowns and startups having this disabled than having it enabled. Now, sometimes these problems occur because your drivers are outdated. And what happens is when you go to shut down, it has an issue. So to always check your device manager, make sure all your drivers are installed and updated and you don't have no warning signs here especially if you're, they're coming down through Windows updates as well. That can cause another issue. So make sure that you're fully updated on Windows as well. So remember, with the, the fast startup enabled, yes, you will literally get faster startup times and shutdown times. But when you shut down, it's keeping that information stored. And if you've got an issue with a driver or something like that, it's going to give you a reboot loop or shutdown issues like hanging on shutdown and that's with the fast startup enabled. That's why I much prefer to turn it off. So when I shut down, there is no cached file stored in the hyperfield.sys file. So that's what I recommend. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. 
I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now, and I shall catch you for another video real soon. If you want to drop on our Discord server, the link is in the video description. Bye for now.